Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the first video on how to enter marks in Educate through Excel export. If you have entered your marks in an Excel sheet for the course quizzes, assignments, midterm and final exam, this is an Excel sheet and you want to transfer these numbers in Educate. Uh, you can do this in two ways. One is that you enter the marks into each cell and this is going to be a tedious task. And this may, there is a possibility of having an error. Another way is to transfer all these marks in Educate through Excel export. That is very convenient. So let us look into the steps that are involved in transferring the data or the numbers through Excel export. First of all, sign in using your username and password. Click login. A OTP number will be received on your mobile. Enter the OTP number and click confirm. Click the down arrow for academic services and then click the section assessment and a window will pop up as you can see over here i choose the course accounting 316 for example and i first of all make sure that the ceiling for each assessment are exactly as I require. You can see I have the assignment 25, final exam 35, midterm 25 and quiz is for 15 marks. Next, I have to enter the date, but enter the date that is prior to the date that is today and then click save. If you have followed the steps correctly, it will save and display the message transaction done successfully. Click the course for which you want to enter the marks. I am selecting accounting 316. A window will pop up in which you can enter the marks in each cell. And as I say, this may be a tedious task and is there are possibilities of making an error and another way is to export all the numbers through excel export uh, from your excel sheet so click excel export and you will get a new window and here you can download the excel sheet and once you enter the Excel sheet, uh, you will have a Excel sheet something like this. But we have to do some actions over here. We have must remove the six rows. Uh, we have to delete the six rows that are over here. And we have to also delete the two columns of marks and grades. And once you have done that, your Excel sheet will be looking something like this. I have intentionally hidden the student's name and all my marks are there according to the ceiling. I have assignment, final exam, midterm and the quiz. It is important to note that the Excel sheet should have all the student IDs and names in the same format as they are in educate i repeat again i have intentionally hidden the name of the students that's why the names are not displayed but when you will open your sheet it is going to display the name of the students as well and you can see that their numbers are in the same format as it is in your excel sheet if a student with a DN or W that is withdrawal is listed in the educate, your Excel sheet must also list the student in the same format. Otherwise, the marks will not be recorded as required. 
Yet another point to be noted is that all the marks should be recorded with two decimal places in order to have a synchronized format otherwise the marks cannot be exported successfully like if you have number like 12 or say 12.5 the you won't be able to export the number successfully it must be with two decimal place like 12.50 now copy the marks of each assessment from your excel like here i have the marks for the all the students i can copy all these marks and i can paste them in the educate in one command in the same way i can just copy all the marks of the midterm and i can paste them in the educate as well and make sure that when you are pasting them in these columns you are pasting the values now after copying all the marks in the appropriate columns save the file and when you are saving the file you can save the file as excel workbook or as an excel 97 to 2003 workbook next once you have saved the file you the you click upload grades and when you click upload grades you have to choose the file you have already saved Do you remember i have saved the file as 316 grades uploaded and then i will click upload to upload the numbers into the educate you can see that all the grades all the marks that are there for the students in my excel sheet have been transferred or exported into the educate but what you can observe is that still the grades are missing over here now these grades will be displayed after you click confirm now once you click the i can confirm again a enter may you will be having an otp and you have to enter the otp number and then you click check and once you click check you can see that it will be specifying marks identical have been completed successfully and the grades for the students are going to be displayed now in this case you can see all the grades are f because for the final exam i have zero intentionally over here for the students so all the grades are over uh, are uh, recorded as f over here finally you can print the grades you have to click the main menu click reports click instructors report and click the final grade you have to choose any course and then you click the final grades now it is possible that the final grade roster do not open as you may see that the pop-up for this site has to be enabled so click your settings your google chrome settings go to pop-ups and click allow now once you have done it still it is possible that the final grade roster still do not open as you may see that the pop-up for this site is not enabled so as uh, you can see that there is a small lock icon over here click this lock icon click cookies and then click remove so once you remove you will be having an icon reload and you have to it will take you out of the out of educate and again you have to enter the otp and again you have to go through the whole process click the main menu click reports click instructors report 
click the final grades and now you can print the grade sheet that is given over here so this completes my explanation on how to enter marks in excel export in educate and i am especially thankful to mr nasirul haq mr mohammad rafi and mr gulam ghaz who have helped me in preparing this video if you have any question regarding this video please don't hesitate to send me by email or you can leave a message in the comment box and inshallah i will reply you back thank you so much